Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day and today is Thursday the 17th and today was another gorgeous day outside. Um, a little chilly but not bad. I mean it's February in Florida. It's not that bad. So went ahead, um, got this morning, um, didn't sleep a lot overnight, um, dealing with some unfortunate drama of, um, I don't know, trying to help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves kind of thing. So you're getting that overthinking, getting that over dramatization going on, all that fun, fun stuff. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So went ahead, um, ended up, like, like I said, not a lot of sleep last night. Got a um, phone call this morning, uh, early, uh, or le late morning, I guess, maybe around 1030, something like that, from um, Richard, Karen's father, and talked to him for a while about some crap that's going on and stuff he's having to deal with and that too and talked to him for a while and that was a really good conversation we had um just going through it karen is i don't know her whole day has just been a wreck it's absolutely amazing how um much it affects her because she just she wants to help so bad and you can't keep helping somebody who doesn't want to help themselves and it was an absolute uh, mess like she was having trouble was um just the whole everything you know just the whole concept of not being able to clearly think straight and it was messing with her job messing with her work and it just it's a pain in the butt so went ahead just had a whole bunch of that stuff going on it's just absolute um crap so we ended up had a couple of things i got done around here um little things nothing major got some stuff moved around the garage um, start working on the windows i'm replacing some glass panels in the windows i kept thinking i had to just replace the whole window the whole frame everything take it out and replace it all and that's thousands of dollars in the house to do <clears throat> and one of the things to get the house refinanced we have to get those windows fixed there's some other little things i gotta fix some rot on some wood and things and i gotta find flooring covering which right now it, that's a whole thing we don't want to do we gotta put down carpet or some shit to make them happy they won't give us a freaking loan when we're um, asking for about um 35 percent of the value of the house they won't reapply her loan unless we cover the floor so i gotta go find something there go buy some tiling or do whatever but that's just annoying but i started in the windows um had to run to the store get the tools and stuff that i needed for that so i spent a little bit of money there luckily not that much money i was able to get the um, pieces out i got the one um, chunk completely removed that's the one that's been broke the longest in the garage so it's out there's two other chunks that are identical size, so now I'm just waiting to get the glass cut so I can get those reinstalled. I'll have to go buy some window sealant of some sort. I'm not sure what I want to go with. I want to find a black sealant, I think, to help hold the glass in. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might do a suction cup inside, some 2x4s and some straps, and i got to do some checking. I'm going to talk with my um, neighbor slash buddy over here who's been in construction for years and see if I can get some pointers from him as well, what he thinks I should do um, on that. But that's going to be solvable the um we got to take down the rest of the fence you know it's not our fence it's a neighbor's fence they won't loan us the money in the house unless we either replace the fence or take the fence out it can't just be laying down even though it's not even on our property it's laying down on the neighbor's property so i have to basically trespass to fix the fence so it's paying the butt there but a lot of that stress going on then add in the drama of everything else happening um went ahead and basically got him home we ended up having pizza we had um some pizza we bought that was like a i don't know from aldi's um like a four meter something like that it was not that great it was not really very good at all to be honest with you i did go run late um got my run in and stuff my body's kind of i've not been sleeping well and that the stress and whatnot always kind of kicks my ass um, we did end up on another late ass night phone call for hours like literally probably two hours talking to trying to help put out the fires and stuff and had to put down an ultimatum that was just something that she never wanted to do and we had to finally just throw our foot down and say under no circumstances will this ever happen and it was hard it was really hard so definitely was up stupidly late um just absolutely crazy how late it was um didn't sleep worth a damn and all that fun stuff but uh, we at least now have a line drawn in the sand of where we need to be and this will never get crossed so at least all the cards are out on the table and we're now going to start trying to move forward and work on what needs to happen and we're willing to help in any possible way we possibly can except for the one thing 